to Real Talk Hip Hop. I'm your host, Joe. What's up? It's Kyle Spratt. Kyle, regrets. What are your thoughts on regrets? And you know, uh, it could be a situation in the past, like the cell phone Eminem situation. Just what are your thoughts on, uh, you know, when you do get into situations like that? Do you regret it, or what's your mind frame? See, life's weird like that because, um, you know, it's like that movie Butterfly Effect. It's like, you know, you never know what one thing, what it's going to lead to and lead to the next and lead to the next. You never know, like, if it's only time will tell, right? And, like, that was, like, the cell phone thing. That was a while ago. And, you know, I, I obviously that was, like, one of the biggest things that happened in my life. And I think about it a lot. But um, the way I see it is, you know, I was 17 then and I'm 24 now, you know. So it's kind of like I look at it as, like, something I did as a kid and, like, as... You know, a lot of people thought it was cool, but there are, I did catch a lot of flack yeah. for it, right? Like real life sand and all that. But at the same time, man, like it's still paying, it's still paying off for me because to this day people will add me because of that story and then check out my music and then I gain a fan, you know what I mean? So, you know, so to answer your question, like, uh, I, like I don't, like, I, regrets, man, I don't know. I, you shouldn't regret anything. You should just, you know, just go with it and whatever feels right at the time, do it. And, Okay, so Kyle equals equals no regrets. What's up with the with the battling? And I know you have a a battle coming up. It's scary and wild. Straight up, bro. Right now, I dare you to smile. Yo, yo, don't tell me you don't got no dick riders, bro. You ain't even spitting, and your people are like, oh. Sick how sick all these nimwits think you are. You're a bitch. You got a lisp when you spit your bars. If those two wings weren't hard, tonight I'll win by far. Then Shane Mack's old news. Yesterday's wins are star. Was it always in your head, you know, to do this battle? Because I know earlier in your you know, in your career and when you first started out, you did the whole battle thing. Uh, did you expect yourself to to jump in the ring again? Uh, it's just one of those things that kind of feels right. I mean, like, uh, everyone has their their path they need to follow and and for me like it's like there's king of the dot right now in Toronto and I'm trying to get into that because that's another big thing happening a way to get publicity and like my hands personally my hands are kind of tied because like of that M&M shit yeah. and stupid mistakes in the past I can't cross the border right like I don't know how long it's going to be till I can go to the states so yeah. I got to make moves in Canada I got to deal with what I was dealt right I got to so I think this, it just feels right man like you know because we got the BCBC in Windsor right now and they're doing big things and you know I want to eventually expand to King of the Dot and it just makes sense so who is who is Kyle Spratt Kyle Spratt <laughs> he's, he's, he's uh he's just like man that's a, that's a deep one he's <laughs> if you could, if you could explain, like, you know, if somebody Wikipedia uh, and you made the Wiki, Wikipedia, what would you type in your own Wikipedia? He's somebody who tries to keep it real, uh, no fakeness about him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's why sometimes it's hard to make a song because if there's nothing going on in my life, then I'm gonna make a pretty boring song. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no BS. Like, it's just, you know. And I try to, I try to live for the moment. Like. I got You Only Live Once on my arm, and you know, it really actually bothers me because I know Drake is a song. Yeah. And people sometimes will be like, oh, are you a Drake fan? And it pisses me <laughs> off, like, YOLO. And it's like, man, I had this tattoo, like, years before that. And it's that, the reason I got that tattooed on me is because it, I fucking live by that. Like, yeah. that is You Only Live Once. Like, I like to, in life, like, I just, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I like to go out there and do crazy shit, but now it's like, you know, I have a daughter and stuff, so it has to be like, like this battle rap, like legal yeah, crazy yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. So, legal, yeah. so it's a way, it's a, yeah, it's a way for me, you know, so. If Eminem walked into a room, you know, right now, what would you say to him? <laughs> uh, you know what, I think I'd just be like, I think I'd ask him right, actually right away, be like, yo, dude, like, because it's hard to say if he even, if he cared about that or if, you know, you never really got a straight reaction. There's things he said that could be about it, but, yeah. and you know, I'd just be really curious to know, like, like, did you actually check, like, were you curious enough to check me out after that? Or like, you know, and I'd pro obviously apologize if you like, you know, I was just, I was a kid. I shouldn't have invaded your guys' privacy yeah. like that. You know, it's kind of sickening. Like, I picture it now, like. If someone stole my baby baby's mother's phone, yeah. I'd probably feel weird about it too. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to talk to the kid either. So I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but like I'd probably just apologize and and then I'd and then I'd be like, listen, man, listen to a song and tell me if it's whack or sick. You know, suicide. No, I I was just listening to to it today. Uh, I noticed it, it's a it's a huge hit 
on the net, you know, it's getting some views. I see a lot of people relate to it. What was your mood, your mind state going into recording a track like Suicide Note? You know, it's funny you bring up that uh, specific track because that was around the same time of the cell phone thing when I actually put that track out. And uh, and that that's real, man. Like, I'm not one of those people that just go make a song and, you know, talk about being sad or, or something and, you know, I'm just doing it to relate to people. Like even, uh, I'll, I'll answer that real quick, but off topic, like the other day I was gonna record a song and it was a more angry track. Yeah. And uh, you know, we went in there, me and my buddy were kind of joking around before and stuff, and then I, I went to do it and I couldn't do it. I was like, bro, I can't do this right now. And a couple days later, I was kind of, some shit was going on and I was pissed. I was like, let's go do the song, man. And then we went and did it and it turned out sick. Yeah. So, but for that particular song, man, I was going through a lot at the time. Uh, like I said, I was still like growing up, you know, and uh, I was just feeling really low, man. And uh, I don't know, I, I think the reason that song is getting so much attention, and I'm really proud of that song because that's that's the one song that people can't say, oh, people only heard of that because you stole Eminem's cell phone. Like, yeah. people are actually finding that song. Like, if you type in suicide song on YouTube, that will pop up, you know what I mean? And, like, I think a lot of people find it, and I'm glad, like, you know, you, I read some of the comments, and, you know, like, I'm helping people and making them feel better, and, you know, that, that's fucking awesome, man. Like, How do people get a hold of uh, Kyle Spratt right now? So you got a Twitter, Facebook? Yeah, hit me up on Twitter. It's just at Kyle Spratt. And, uh, you know, Facebook, you add me up on there, and I'm pretty much, I'm still, yeah. I like I, I try and talk to people that message me, but. What's, what's happening in the future? Any uh, projects, any music videos, any uh, features? Besides, you know, this battle, which is, you know, tonight. Uh, the BCBC battle, I'm going to continue battling there. I want to eventually, like I said, get to King of the Dot. Uh, I'm going to be making a music video with presidential production, so that's going to be pretty sick. Um, and then eventually I want to put my CD out that I've been talking about for a while. I don't mean to pull a detox or nothing, but it's a song. It's called, uh, my CD, ne next CD is going to be called Growing Up. Okay. And I think the reason it's taking so long is because I had to actually grow up first. Because like I said, you know, I don't like to make bullshit songs. And I feel like I'm finally, like at that point, I can start dropping songs that are, will fit the theme of growing up. So check Kyle's music out. No more cell phone talks. We're out. It's real talk here, Bob. That's it. Check the interview. It's going to drop out soon. Uh, good, luck, uh, good luck on your battle tonight. Thank you very much. Any, any last words you have to say to anybody out there? Just keep checking out the music. I appreciate all the support. And uh, that's it, man. Thank you. Peace. Fuck my destiny. No more relationships. My friends are all dead to me. My head is aching. I don't have any energy. I'm patiently waiting for the day.